Well, now let's check back in with CBS 2's Mary Kay Kleist. She is live from the Meyer store in Bloomingdale, handing out those NOAA radios at a discounted price. She has a look at your full forecast. Mary Kay? Well, we have noticed, Erica, that the temperature has been dropping as we've been out here because the sun is starting to get a little lower in the sky. The winds just won't quit. But as we move through the evening, it looks like it's going to be a chilly night. Now, out here, along with emergency managers and things, we also have some of our weather watchers that have joined us. So I'm going to get a little help with the forecast here. But this is a brave one. Ron Leffler in short sleeves. It's, <laughs> it's a little chilly out here. Yeah, give me a hand here. What do you see? Okay, right now we're getting 53 degrees out here in uh, Bloomingdale. We're averaging a wind chill of about 47 degrees right now. Winds are averaging east by northeast, and it's been gusting right around 12 miles per hour. All right, thank you. So it is going to be chilly, as we notice, and he is going to get a coat, I bet. I bet you he'll wimp out. Because as we look at the temperatures now, O'Hare keeps dropping hour by hour. 52 now. Northeast winds at 15 are keeping it chilly off the lake there. The water temperature is 52, so it feels super cool. Around the area, only 48 degrees in Gary, 47 in Valpo. That's because winds there are a little more northerly. So with that northerly wind component, you're coming off that cool lake. Head to Aurora, it's 54, and we have 53 in Joliet. Satellite radar picture pretty quiet. We do have clouds here, but that main storm system over St. Louis is going to pass south of us and move into Kentucky and the lower parts of the Ohio Valley. So pretty quiet for us tonight. We'll just call it partly cloudy. Here are the forecast lows that we will see. 42 in the city, 40 in Gary, 37 in Joliet and Rensselaer, and about 41 degrees in Utica. Now, tomorrow, let's start building your weekend. Tomorrow we are going to see sunshine, but we'll keep that lake breeze going, and it will be Zion, 53 in Oak Lawn, and about 60 degrees in McHenry and 58 when you head to Ottawa. So building through your weekend, gosh, Sunday looks even better because Sunday high pressure moves over us, winds relax, the sun will be bright, and we will see temperatures at 62. Look at Monday, 68. Rain Tuesday, maybe a bit in the afternoon. Not a big deal at this point, but a beautiful weekend coming your way. And joining me now is Bruce Jones from Midland Radio talking about the importance of these NOAA weather radios. Why are they better than cell phones? Well, you know, if you've ever been to a, a Cubs game or a Bears game, you know that when you get a lot of people together, the cell phone system can't handle that load. Same thing during a big disaster, a big tornado. The cell phone system might slow down. You might not get that warning. It's nice to have a backup, and know a weather radio is the perfect backup. Mm -hmm. And why is it so important that each family have one of these? Well, these are these, these devices are like a smoke detector mm -hmm. for storms. You turn it on, and it silently works year-round. And it may not make a peep all year long, but on that one night when there's a tornado coming, It'll wake you up and save your life. And you are customizing them today, so maybe just in the county I live and maybe the one west of me, right? So it's not going to go off in Indiana if I live mm. way out here, right? That's right. And you know, Mary Kay, if you want this thing to go off just for tornado warnings and severe thunderstorm warnings, we'll set it that way. And then when it goes off, you know it's something really serious that deserves your attention. And the best thing is, if you're not home and your kids are home alone, this is what will save their lives. Thank you, Bruce. Great information today from the Meyer store in Bloomingdale. You know what? They're going to keep this special price running on the weather radios, and there are instructions inside if you can't make it out today to get the play-by-play -play from the pros. Live in Bloomingdale, I'm meteorologist Mary Kay Kleist. Back to you, Erica, in the studio. Oh, great information about those weather radios, and a good job by your weather watcher assistant as well, Mary Kay. <laughs> he was awesome. <laughs> well, a thank you. A 10-year-old girl born without a left hand.